again, ISGTV, another exclusive. It's Big T, aka T Rocker, standing next to Mr. Vandalism himself, St. Louis All Star. You know, What's check going the cat. on with it, man? What's happening? What's happening with you? How you doing, man? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Like video you, shoot. Man. That's what I like to hear, man. Yeah, my boy Tef. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, this nigga. Hey, corner, Tef. Man. You haven't, hey, you haven't told the people nigga, about man. your comic book yet, man. You know what it is, Age of Illumination. I gotta plug it some kind of way in this video. I have no creative manner of how we gonna incorporate this into all this shit. Oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Damn. I don't know how we gonna incorporate that. Right I'm just, I can't, I'm gonna look gay if I just hold it up after like that. Just like punch somebody, just throw it on them like. It's not like a video, you can push pause, like, okay, commercial. <laughs> hey, Jamal. <laughs> Too funny, man. Y'all know what it is, man. We got a bunch of motherfuckers out here, man. My nigga Van. Right. Oh, yeah. Let's fuck out of Once again, yeah. I have to say, Coast to Coast Mixtapes Volume 52 I'm on it. First song. Why you gotta always plug yourself? I always gotta plug it all the time. <laughs> I'm on my first mixtape, nigga. I'm geeked. Oh, I already got yeah. downloaded 500 times. God. Shit. You know what? I really hope he make it. Because I see a lot of P. Diddy in his spirit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he don't give a fuck, man. We're well, now back to Ben Lizzo, my man. Alright, Ben Lizzo. Sorry. Don't give a fuck. We got distracted. What's happening? What's happening, folks? I'm really gonna I don't know what to say to y'all. I, I get around cameras and uh, I don't know, I freeze up. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's ask me a question. Yeah, um, no only cameras say no eight miles. So how, do you, eight miles. so, how do you go about We know you do shows everywhere. Like, how do you get, to, how do you get yourself out there outside of St. Louis to perform? Man, truth be told, um, it, it's. it's it's a lot about building allies, man. It's, it's, it's a lot about building allies outside of your city. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's good. You got to definitely put on for the crib. But at the same time, it's like being the tightest motherfucker in St. Louis. Like, I'm not saying it's me, but just like, I mean, sitting there holding it on your shoulders. Right. Like, that's an accomplishment. really isn't saying anything. Right. You know what I'm saying? If the rest of the world isn't hearing it, if you can't go to a New York or a L.A. to do some shit and your, your name ain't ringing bells, you're really not doing anything. Like, this is, this is a big-ass world, man, you know? So... Honestly, a lot of you know what I'm saying. Like I said, like the, a lot of the, a lot of the networks, like the MySpaces, the Facebooks, and things of that nature. Cool. Of course, Twitter now. Um, just getting out there, building with people. Not necessarily coming at them directly on. I do music. You do music. Let's collab. Like, but just building relationships with these cats and all of this stuff. It comes, man. If you're if you're talented, if you're building relationships, you're building actual. Actual, actual friendships with these people. Those other things that come, you know what I'm saying, along down the line. Cool. And once you have all of that stuff built, um, people notice the talent, you know what I'm saying, and they really start fucking with you. So, I mean, that that's honestly everything that I can attest to it. I mean, everything I'm doing, any motherfucker can do. What's like, the first show you done outside of St. Louis? Uh, the first show I did out of St. Louis would be a joint I did in Chicago, probably like in, uh, in 04, which honestly was probably my second show. I performed at uh, DePaul University, which was Aquica. I ain't, like I said, I ain't never performed in Chicago before, but um, that crowd's a tough. I hear. Like, like we we got some people crowd. We're we're a lot more vocal. You know what I'm saying? Like if we if we don't like some shit, well, you you know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah definitely yeah. know if you, if it's not like but like. Damn, like these motherfuckers were like just sitting there and they were like mean mugging me so hard like nigga you ain't shit make me smile bitch and that's how they you know what I'm saying and that's how they worry about this shit you know what I'm saying so I was like fuck it I jumped off that stage got the rapping in the motherfuckers faces like nigga y'all gonna like me and this bitch y'all gonna like me I don't care so you know what I'm saying like that basically what it was like I, I did the Chicago show and they ended up calling me back for this shit so I guess it worked <laughs> what was the um in your mind what was your favorite show that you ever did again my favorite show that I've ever done? Man, it's kind of difficult, man. I would probably have to give it up to uh, to the joint we did uh, outside of Vintage Vinyl oh, in protest yeah. of, uh, of the Riverfront Times. Yeah. But that was... Uh, you protested against them? Or it really, no, it really wasn't in protest against them. Like, cause I don't have a problem with the Riverfront Times. Like, um, you know what I'm saying? My dude Keegan, you know what I'm saying? Uh, definitely, once he once he came in, he, 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 held, he held a lot of us down on the St. Louis scene. Like, that, honestly, beforehand, really wasn't fucking with St. Louis hip hop. Uh, at all, so he kind of came from, uh, you know, what I'm saying, from the West Coast and really trying to like, like, kind of like got got into the scene, and so, you know, Spade still kind of in that mind state, like, well, they ain't fuck with me then, you know, what I'm saying, fuck them, I'm gonna put on my own show on top of them doing the, uh, you know, what I'm saying, the Riverfront Time Music Festival, and so we were just outside of Venice, without, without, you know, what I'm saying, two little speakers in the, in the, in the, in the set, 
and and well, ripped it. You know what I'm saying? Like they had the main stage right here. What's that on YouTube? Didn't uh, Rocky perform it? Yeah, Rocky. Yeah, yeah everybody had a whole performance on YouTube. Right. So it's like we ended up having a bigger crowd around our situation than uh than the actual main stage for the Riverfront Times Music Festival. So That's cool. yeah. So like I said, that that probably I would have to say probably like is is top on this. It's, it's more meaningful. It's more meaningful, definitely more yeah. meaningful. So yeah, people came out. You know what I'm saying? And it was funny about that whole situation with uh Spade protesting the motherfucker. He ended up winning hip hop artist right. of the year. <laughs> <laughs> like, kind of, it kind of makes you think like that was, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. That was just us playing all along. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. The motherfucker ended up winning. The motherfucker ended up winning hip hop artist of the year in the process of him throwing out a fuck you to the river front time. So, yeah, man, music is powerful. So that just shows you right there. Like, shit don't matter. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, right. man. How do you feel about the current state of hip hop right yeah. now? The current state, man, is, um, it's dismal. I'll use that word. Uh, reason I say that, I mean, you look at what's being played on the radio, you look at what's being played on TV, uh, they don't even play videos on TV anymore. Like, this is stuff that I grew up, like, you know what I'm saying, in my eyes, I'm at my, my video on this channel, we gon' play that, man. That motherfucking Nelly Moe's, he won't fall for the hole. <laughs> I'm gonna go to fuck up my interview. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go to fuck up my shit. You know? <laughs> but nah. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck the niggas video. I got the voice in the 5 9 gramophone show on DVD. I'm talking like three different times on camera. This nigga just walked up. Yeah, man. So what, what he's saying is, I'm like, man, everybody shot. Take it above my shit. You know what I'm saying? But nah, man. Um, basically. Like, I mean, like I said, if you listen to what's on the TV, you listen to, you know what I'm saying, you see what's on TV, you listen to what's on the radio, like, the, the, the shit is, you know what I'm saying, repetitious, like, it's, it, you know what I'm saying, they're, they're forcing people to like certain songs, like, there's no, there's no artistry in it, you know what I'm saying, and then especially, like I said, you look at now, back, at, you know what I'm saying, at the crib now, we only got one hip-hop station here, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and that one's about to be gone, that, and, and, yeah, we're, we're you know what I'm saying? It's coming. It's coming. It's definitely coming. That, you're about to lose 104.1, so in a minute, there's going to be no hip-hop here. There's going to be no a rs ever coming here. There's no, going to be no shows coming here. So there's going to be no point of even having a scene here. So, certain cats are going to look at the situation like, oh, what do we do? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and ended up quitting, you know what I'm saying, quitting doing music, which... It's a good fucking thing because y'all whack motherfuckers that need to be doing this shit in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like the real cats who's supposed to be doing this shit will realize that the world is huge. Like I said earlier, this isn't everything. You know what I'm saying? As much as I love my city, as much as I love my town, as much as I love everything that, you know what I'm saying, I've done here, everything my crew's done here, there's so much more out there. You know? And so we're trying to do our best to get all of this shit done and bring it back home. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the key to it all. It's like we we trying to get it out there and bring it back to the crib. Cause it's all about we never forget our foundation. You know, so anytime I'm out of town, anytime I'm I'm doing any of that shit, I'm always representing. It's always at all times. You don't ever forget that. This shit. nigga out of town, that's you all over again. This nigga. <laughs> <laughs> all over again. This nigga out of town is a beast. Man. <laughs> Come on, dog. You yeah, gotta see it. I, I gotta question. Y'all, I gotta question. You gotta see it to believe. How y'all get to the A3 Atlanta? How does that shit the work? A, the you, A3C. How, how you uh, sign up for that? Uh, grinding. <laughs> I'm grinding now. I'm grinding now. A lot of that. I need a week to go uh, to sign up. Truth be told, man, a lot, a lot of times, especially with those festivals, like there's um there's entries. You know what I'm saying? They give you an entry, a certain entry time, where as far as like you know what I'm saying that you can do as far as like actually uh, signing up to be. Uh, you know what I'm saying, consider to be on one of the uh on one of the shows. But a lot of times, like especially with um the uh the perfect attendance show, uh that was done by the smoking section, smoking okay. section.net. Okay. Uh, so pretty much they put on who they fuck with. Oh, okay. You know, who they fuck with on the blog. They fuck with Cash Heavy, they put them on. Like they have a showcase that they're doing at South by Southwest that I I'm not gonna guarantee and say one hundred percent, yeah, I'm performing that, but I should be. I know I'm performing at um at, at at a charm for uh, Blind Eye for Kids, another blog. Uh, so pretty much, like I said, at the end of the day, it is it's building, it's, it's building relationships, dog. Uh -huh. it, that's, the, that's the key to it all. It's building relationships and not just coming at motherfuckers like, yo, I make beats, check them out. 
I'm telling you, like the majority of these motherfuckers hear that shit, they don't want to hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like the last yeah. thing, if you run into, you know what I'm saying, God willing, you run into Jay Z, the last thing you need to talk to that motherfucker about is music. That is my that that is that is my key 